Hi guys, Bookworm here. As you can see, I'll be starting a new set of videos where I, a floating head, will teach you how to use a coding platform called Scratch. This episode, we'll be talking about what it is, what it's used for, how to download it, and some simple codes to get you started. So let's get right into it. Scratch uses blocks instead of lines of code to make things happen. These blocks can be stacked on top of each other to create simple games like this. You can personalize the backgrounds, the characters, and their lines of code. I highly recommend Scratch because it's kid-friendly, easy, and satisfying to use. Downloading Scratch is simple. Go to a web browser and search something like how to download Scratch. Look for a link like this and click it. Here you can choose your OS. There are instructions and FAQs for each. But if you're having trouble, I suggest that you use the help of a grown-up nearby. This is what appears on your screen whenever you enter Scratch. I'll give you a tour so you can be familiar with the things you can do here. On the top blue bar is the settings. Here you can change the language, save and load files, and change the name of the project. You can also find tutorials made by the Scratch team and edit the file that you're working on. These are sprites. Sprites are like characters. Here are sounds that will play when your code says so. Here you can draw costumes for your sprites. Costumes can be anything from different poses of a character to different expressions. You can switch between costumes anytime your code says so. Here you can edit all sorts of things about your character. These are your backdrops and or backgrounds. Here you can get more sprites and backdrops. Sprites and backdrops are customizable. Well, that's it for this episode of Coding with Scratch. I hope you'll be able to explore Scratch on your own. Because it's not tutorials that do the magic, it's creativity that does. I'll see you next time. Bye!